Okay guys, so some of you might have seen my related short where I go to the fair and then I find the weirdest thing there. Now if you've seen that video, you know I found a pickle pizza and now we're gonna recreate it. I don't think anybody's gonna be following these steps, but just in case, I'll, I'll add step to step. First thing we need to do is make the dough. To a medium sized mixing bowl, add three and a quarter cup flour. Add three quarters of a tablespoon of salt into that flour. Now to a cup and a half of lukewarm water, add a quarter teaspoon yeast. Give it a light stir. Now add your yeast liquid to the flour. Now mix by hand until you get a shaggy dough. Now cover the dough in a few layers of plastic wrap. Now let it rest in room temperature overnight. It's the next day and now our dough has risen like four times the size. Now we're gonna put these into little balls and then we're gonna cook it as a pizza. Now give it a little punch just to get out all the air. Now put your dough on a floured work surface. Now just a quick side note, this dough recipe is for two pizzas. If you're only doing one, then just do half of all the ingredients. Cut your dough in half. Roll it into a medium sized ball. Now finely mince five garlic cloves. Now flour a pizza stone. Now work your dough into a pizza shape and then place it on your pizza stone. Now pinch the dough down on the edges so you can form a crust. Now grate one and a half cups of fresh, low moisture mozzarella cheese. Now drizzle a good amount of high quality olive oil on your pizza dough. Now spread this by hand, making sure you cover the whole pizza. Now add all your minced garlic to your pizza. Now grate one cup of fresh Parmigiano Reggiano. Now sprinkle on all your Parmigiano Reggiano. Then do the same with your mozzarella. Next, add four basil leaves, evenly spreading them out so each slice has one of them. Now add any of your leftover Parmesan to your crust. Now I know what you're thinking. Tyler, where are the pickles? Don't worry, those come in later. Now season it with a good amount of black pepper, some salt, and some smoky chipotle salt from Osmo. Now into a 500 degree oven, add your pizza in. Now after 12 minutes or until the dough is thoroughly cooked through and the cheese is melted, take it out. Now evenly spread out four pickles next to your basil leaves. Now cut your pizza into slices. Okay guys, here we- Bruh. Okay, got a new pickle. All right, now we're all done with it, and I think we did a pretty dang good job at recreating it, but better. So now we're gonna take a big old bite out of this and tell you guys how it tastes. I think we quite literally nailed it. So it has semi the same flavor, but better. Um, it's a little bit minty from the basil not minty but it's a little gives that a little freshness kick because we're healthy and then you can taste the garlic um those taste very fresh not too chewy it's a little bit uh crunchy there and then i would have wished we got a little bit more of a crust on the bottom but that's kind of my fault because i put too much olive oil on the bottom so um yeah i'm gonna call this one a success you guys hear that crunch? 3,000 subscribers special coming soon.